Hi, my name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my meeting podcast. Um, yeah, I should do the record video today because it's the best day when I actually have time to make it. But apparently words today are escaping in my head and I cannot make sentence together. So hope you will bear with me. <laughs> I want to thank all new viewers and all returning viewers. It's really nice to have you here. Yes, so I feel we are kind of like, okay, so I will start with what I'm wearing. And today I'm wearing the sweater, what I test needed last year. Uh, the pattern is called Boxar Sweater and it's by Becky Sorensen. I will try to insert some pictures of me wearing the sweater, but it's like really cropped, um, light fingering sweater. It's like really boxy. I make one my with split hem. The pattern called for normal hem, but I just decided that will be nice detail. And a pattern is knitted in this yeah, sweater is knitted in this pattern, but I believe it's called broken rib. It's have really nice texture. It's not hard, really. It's like, I believe it's two row repeat or maybe three. I don't remember exactly, but I can recommend this pattern. It's really nice, uh, easy to knit, really understandable and yeah. I think you can wear this with many things like with sweaters, with, oh yes, sweater with sweater, yes of course, with jeans, I mean, oh, with dress, I'm mostly wearing this with dress because I have dress in the um, pattern and I believe the colors, okay, at least for me, the colors match really nice, so I'm normally wearing this with this dress, maybe I will try to insert pictures, how it's look, I really like the look. My husband tell that he had a teacher when he was small who was dressing like that. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if that's really a compliment, but I like. So, um, yes, the pattern is called for Holst Garn Super Soft. It's light finger and weight. It's 100% wool. And I make that in that... Uh, exactly yarn i don't remember color but i will make a link for my ravelry page and uh, down below i always make in, uh, notes yes yeah, so you can find my ravelry page instagram and about the projects normally i'm linking my ravelry page but i am also writing uh, how the pattern is called and uh, who, who made this, who is designer. So if you don't use the router, you can just Google them and find out more in the way what's not including the router. So yeah, I really like this sweater. I think it's all what I was wanted to tell about this. And yeah, let's move from this. Yeah, I don't have so that much finished object i believe from last time i finished just one so yeah we will start with that this was socks i have two this is shorty socks i made this like a christmas socks i believe the colors at least for me the christmas enough um i like them I have little amount of yarn back, sorry, um, and now I cannot find this, but I had like actually like really small ball uh, back. But other of these socks are ready. I made them um, from the toe up, two at the same time, and I had just one 50 gram ball, so I pulled one from center, one from inside, and then went through from that. And um, yeah, 
they're not match together because probably if I will go like that, I should find the pattern repeat. Yes, ta -da! If we come from this pink stripe that we see the pattern repeat. Yes, so they don't match, but I'm okay with this. I like them. And then um, where is this stitch marker last time was where I showed this to you. So I had just that amount of knitted and then I made through all. Um, I'm still considering to add pink yarn here on top, but because of missing time, I don't know when this will happen and if that will happen. But for now, I will count them like a finished object. And for last two weeks, that just one what I finished. Yes. Um, about these sock blockers, I bought them on internet through eBay. If someone is interested, I can leave the link for them. I really like them. I don't know, I'm not an expert because I don't try another sock blockers. But as for me, they are really nice. They are wooden and they have uh, cuts of rabbits, but there was another patterns also that you can choose. And I believe they cost yeah, was more than 10 euro, but maybe 12, 15 euros. So I don't think they're that expensive. And here in shops, we mostly don't have soap blockers. Maybe they are not that popular here. I saw one uh, in the blue plastic, but I don't really like them. No, I didn't like them. So that was my one finished object from last time I'm I was podcasted. And then we can just move to the work in the progress. And my first work in progress is the sweater what I already showed last time. It's a sweater what I'm making for my daughter in uh, it's simple top-down brioche sweater. What I'm trying to figure it out so far, it's good. I finished the body. Yeah, I don't know how to show you that right. New. Yeah, that's similar to the color, how it is. Mm. Yeah, maybe like that. It's more ochre color. It's like rusty color. It's nice color. So um, last time when I showed you that, I just separate for the sleeves. And now I have body done. Yeah. Um, it's knitted in brioche stitch and I was making increases. I made this top down. I was making increases on reglan line. And then after I finished the body, I'm ready to pick up. I shouldn't pick up for the sleeves. I should just start knitting them. I put them right away on the needles. It's my preferred method. Because then I don't need to pick up this or do something else. If I'm working on the sleeves like that, that I'm mostly just starting picking up that what I need to pick up on the body part and then including the stitches what I have on the whole needles and then just starting. The problem was that I ran out of the yarn. I had just one leftover balls after I finished the body. So, so far I use, this is ball number six. I know that they are small balls because it's mohair yarn, so it's 25 grams. And I hold this double. So it's take a lot, but it's like eating the yarn. <laughs> so I bought three more balls of the yarn. And as I told before, it's, Diablo by Hobby. Um, I don't know if these shops are somewhere else, but it's like big 
company here in Denmark. I believe you see this opposite. It's a hobby, but you can find them on internet or yeah, some in other places. I took this yarn just because I like the color. And the price was nice and I do not know if that sweater will be like I'm planning or no, because I was trying to make I'm trying to count all for pattern myself. I need one brioche sweater previously. And um, my daughter was wanted like that, but that had big holes when increases were made because increase were made in brioche, there is stitch when you increase it and you get in five stitch out of one, but they're actually like a small hole when you're making that increase. So I make increase when you add in, when you make in just three, three stitches out of the one. And you don't have that big holes there. So yeah, so far I'm still working with this sweater. Um, it should be oversized sweater with balloon sleeves. So I still have plenty of work. Last time I recorded, two weeks ago, I was thinking maybe it will be done until this time, but I feel like I'm not even close, maybe in two weeks, but yeah. But I didn't give up, I didn't rip it out. It's not went to some corner of shame. <laughs> and yeah, maybe the next time I will finish this, but so far, look like that so that's my first work in progress I have two more um, and as I said before I don't have the pattern for that one so I just counted as much as I made the swatch and from the swatch I make the calculation and mass how I should how I want this reglan to look and just going from this. If that will work out that maybe I will share more how I was doing that. Uh, okay, the next work in the progress is the hat. What I'm making for my son and I just drop the stitches. Yes. Sorry. Okay, in some way I pick up them and we will see later how it's gone. Um, I find this pattern, it was really interesting. It's have, it's like a simple hat, but it's have, um, it's called it croco hat, I believe. For me, it's kind of like dinosaur hat. It's have this, um, I don't know how you can call them, like three angles. But then they are form on the head, so to make them you look like, I don't know, crocodile or dinosaur. I will try to insert the picture and uh, they will be linked to my uh, project page because I don't remember who is the designer. I remember the head is called Croco Head. Sorry. Don't remember them. So yes, I'm making this for my son. So far it's look like that. It should have fold brim, so it's not just some long sink. It's look like that. And it, it's look like it's too small for anyone, but it's actually quite big. It just because it's rip and I have this on small circular uh, needle, so it looks small, but so far, I really like it. It should have at least three or four of these three angles to make it look like a dinner hat. I hope I will insert the picture and you understand what I actually mean or trying to explain. But yeah, um, I just decided to make some simple hat for my son and some snoot to that, that he can have some new hat in his collection. And yarn what I'm using for that, I'm almost 
used 50 gram already. It's a 50 gram balls. I had this in my stash for a long time. I don't know why I bought this because it's like 80% acryl and just 20 wool. But I really like the color. I don't know. Camera make this look more blue, but it's like more aquamarine. Yeah, I believe it's here. It's more right to color. It's like greenishly blue. Really nice. And yarn is really soft. So I believe for the kid hat, it will be perfect. And it's have 110 meters per 50 gram. Uh, yarn is called Complesso. I have no idea where to get this. <laughs> no clue. It was in my stash and I had, I believe seven balls of this. So I figured out that like, that's too small for sweeter, too small for, I don't know, any big project. So I will try to make hat and a snoot. Maybe there will be a place for yarn, yarn left for some mittens, but yeah, I don't know. My son is playing outside a lot, even now when he already in the school. They have a lot of hours and I feel like knitted mittens not really helping them because here in Denmark we don't have like proper winter. It's more like rainy and muddy. It's cold, but it's still a lot of, yeah, I don't know, water outside. It's raining instead of snowing, so uh, mitten knitting they will be become just wet and he will be cold again so i don't know but had it started uh, that i will finish until next time because i had one more hat planned so that will be finished so that was my two work in progress and now i will go to work in progress number three Yes, and my last work in progress is something what I'm making secretly from my husband. So I should probably tell my husband to don't watch that video. <laughs> so he will be told to don't watch and I will start to show him what I'm doing. So last week, no, I will start this differently. Originally, I'm from Ukraine and I lived most of my life there and we don't have traditional about Advent calendar. Um, they start to coming up lately, but it's not that big tradition like here in Denmark. Here, I think like people starting to buy this Advent calendar like in October, November. Last year we made a big mistake, we was waiting almost to the beginning of Advent time and then they was kind of like sold out. So kids get just some chocolate Advent calendars. Yeah, nothing cool. Uh, yeah, but here is like a big tradition and there's plenty calendars what you can buy and people even making calendars. Uh, yeah, probably they cannot find something what they're interested in, so they make it for kids or something like this. And they call here it's packet calendar, so it's like packaged calendar. Yes. So this year I ran into a problem that I was can't find advent calendar for my husband. We find the calendars for the kids, but uh, yeah, that was the problem with calendar for my husband. So uh, I decided to make him pack calendar and I bought already all another present which should go in that. And then last week there came the pattern. What I again don't know, don't remember the name of designer. But I know that she have, um, she's hand dyer and she making her yarn is called, yarn company called it Yarn Cafe Creation. Yes. And um, I saw her post on Instagram with small sweaters, what you can hang like on Christmas tree or somewhere in the room. 
and they was with Star Wars heroes on. My husband likes Star Wars. I decide I will make them and include them in this bucket calendar. Then he can hang this on a Christmas tree or just in his office somewhere near a computer and can see this. Yes, so um, the end is not woven in. I will start with showing how it's look like by colors or small or size. So they are really small. Okay, so maybe not that small. If that's my hand, is that... Yeah. They're quite small. I think they can be nice Christmas tree ornaments. So, so far I make light gray, then a blue one and a dark gray. And then I should make one yellow and one red. Yes. And before I was thinking like, oh, that's a work for one evening. No, that's not. To make this feature, yes, maybe that's a work for one evening. It's not a big amount of stitches. I'm making this on um, DPNs. You can make this on DPNs or on Magic Loop, but I decided to make this on DPNs. Sleeves are killing me. <laughs> Because in the end you have like 10 stitches and you should make like rape on this, then you should cast off and all this in a circle. Yes, and I didn't tell yet, um, this pattern is free now, but uh, then it will be a part of knits, what included many patterns, what are uh, made it in connection with Star Wars. I believe there is a lot of cool patterns, but book is not released yet, but that pattern was released for free. So yes, as I doubt, made three sweeter, should make two more. And uh, this one is completed, like always completed, ends in woven in. I make the pattern on top. This is a Darth Vader. And I find out there is one thing what I really don't like in knitting and it is this duplicate stitch when you make it kind of like embroidery but after you are ready with knitting I was thinking first it's color work and I was like okay it's three color color work I will figure it out small circumstance though this also okay but when I find out that you actually first need the sweater and then make this pattern on, this pattern takes me like two evenings. And the evening it's like proper time when I have time with my husband, when we like not at work, study and other things. And yeah, have time for ourselves. So there is no chance I make them that well. I'm try I, I will do my best, but I have no idea if I will finish this. So yes. That was the first sweater and the stitches, okay, my stitches don't look that good as a pattern. Yeah, I like color work, this duplicate stitches are killing me. So first one is a Darth Vader, second one, and I don't move all the ends yet, but it's this clones. Yeah, I believe they should be stretched more in this direction, but I will block them. One more time. Yeah, you see, it's yeah, it's look better like that. Yeah. This one don't have the pattern on yet. Should have, don't have yet. But yeah, I hope I will get through this. But I know for myself from now, don't like the duplicate stitches. Yeah, don't like them at all. Yes, so that was kind of like all. What I have on my needles. I wasn't working on my mitten advent calendar. Have no idea I will do more this year. Yes. But from now I will move and will tell about what I bought this year, this month, week. Uh, about my plan for knitting and the winner for giveaway so 
Yes, so now I want to tell about my egg positions. I bought some yarn today because I will test need one color work sweater. Uh, so today, because it's Black Friday, I bought the yarn for, for this sweater. It will be again yarn from uh, Smoksack yarn, the Reloaded Merino. I really like this, so I bought like light gray color, um, then darker gray for color work, and then two accent colors will be blue and minty color. So yeah, I hope that they will arrive to the next time and then I can show you them. They actually shouldn't arrive. I should go and pick up this from the shop because I that was the cheapest delivery. You can just pick up from the shop, don't pay for this, but then I should wait until that will be packaged. Yes, so that's one. Another thing what I bought previously, but for now that I never show this, it this super cool. <laughs> it is a ball, um, the no cup. No, it's not a cup. Ball holder. I have no idea. You put the yarn inside, and then you can have some balls there but I didn't try but when I saw this in shop I just was can't leave it there no it's when with me home <laughs> I think I will never be too old to like unicorns yeah they're so sweet <laughs> so when I show when I saw this yarn ball yes it's called a yarn ball I was can't leave this in the shop so I bought this it's ceramic and it wasn't expensive because there was opening of the shop and yeah i place this in my room on a commode and now i see this every day and it's making me happy <laughs> that small thing but it it's so cool yes it wasn't in a toy department it was in the yarn shop so that's just uh, Yes, toys for knitters. <laughs> yes, so that was all what I bought. Now I will show you about the work what I'm planning to make. Um, yes, sorry. So I have a socks. That was one of the first pair what I ever knit. Um, I had I believe two balls yes I believe I have two balls of this yarn and I need the pair for my husband the color look like that like color repeat without this yeah like that so he had a pair of that and I used contrasting heels cuffs and toes for his pair and then I had less than 50 gram left. That was like 30 maybe, something like that. So I decided to use this contrasting color and first make knit toe, then make some stripes with like main color what I will use for socks and then contrasting colors for heels. And then in the end, I also make like that striped so we had like almost matchy pair, but the problem happens with my socks, then my heel now look like that. So I needed afterthought, after, after all heel, yeah, something like that. The heel would you big up for after. So while I was knitting for this, I just put like extra thread in one place where I was knew that I will insert the heel. And after this, I need the heel. So one of my heel look now like that. Another also on the way to that. So I kind of like afraid that I use 100% wool on a place that you actually shouldn't do that. Like at all. There should be some nylon on the heels, especially for me. 
So what I'm planning to do, first I was thinking I will just throw it down, throw this, them out, but I get kind of like sentimental because we have just this socks matchy. So what I'm planning to do is to pick up the stitches again. Yes, I think that can be done. And then we'll cut this heel, pull all the yarn from the heel and then we'll make new heels. I don't have that yarn, so I will just pick up in some gray yarn and yeah, try to make a new heels. Yeah, I don't know if you have some recommendation how to do this, then leave me a comment or if you think that it's not worth it and I should just give up on these socks. I have plenty of socks. Yes. Yeah, but I like them. They're kind of gray and most of my socks are more, have more vibrant colors. So yes. So that was all for knitting. Now I will pick up one more phone and we'll make we will find out who is giveaway winner for this yarn. Yes. So now I will make, we will find out the winner for this skin of yarn. Last time I announced the giveaway and uh, I thought that I will pick up next time the winner. So I find found some site. I put the link for my video. So now it's tell that I have 25 comments and now we will find who is the winner. So ta -da, we find the winner and the winner is Fiona Morris. Yes. So Fiona, I hope you're happy to win this yarn. I will add some when I will send this to you. Please contact me. Um, I believe better on Ravelry on Instagram. You can see links below. Um, just write me. Tell that it's you who win this yarn and i will try to send you as fast as possible then maybe you will have one extra present for the christmas yes and i decide that i will try to make a vlogmas this year so there will be some short videos i have two yarn advent calendars for this year i get interrupted so i have two advent calendars um one it was yarn uh, where we have 25 participants and we each made 25 mini skins and uh, dye them ourselves and then um, all that was sorted together bar bar by the person who organized that and then we get the package with min wrapped mini skins so I have that advent calendar and now there was the swap where we were swapping six mini skins of each person uh, through the quadrant and uh, then all together we have 24 skins. This I should label myself like it's wrapped. I should just put the numbers of this on this so I will have two advents and I will try to show you some traditions here in Denmark, how they celebrate in Christmas. Uh, in Ukraine where I'm from, we are following still another calendar. So we have, we are celebrating Christmas in January. Uh, yes. So yeah, I will show you around in the city, what we do. Um, Christmas tree decorations and another thing. So yeah, hope I will get through that. I have an exam. Then the Christmas time, like 
before Christmas time. So I hope to, to have a time to make this video and get through them. Yeah, that was all for today. And yes, see you again in two weeks. Happy knitting. Hi.